another thing I want to look at is this, right? The primary is hard. You can look at the email that you know, you don't have to cross the other as a good point. by the geometric points in space of defining a cube. Um, and interesting enough, Le Corbusier does this at the Ozonfall studio in Paris, where there's the studio, you come up and, and you're in this glass box which looks like a cube, because of the four, three sides are defined by, by light. And in this case, the three sides are defined here. So you, it's, these are not necessarily new tricks, but um, brought back both ritual and and form as a predominant characteristic of functionalism, which had not really, and he elevated functionalism in terms of detailing materiality to something that was far more poetic than just simply putting stuff together you know, in terms of a palette of this. Even notice the change in the course of the, of the sizing of the concrete block. There's a block that lines up. See the little ones of brick gets narrow and the blocks get narrower? And he runs that around. Uh, when he articulates over a doorway, there's a, there's a concrete label over that door that just sits on top of the block. All these joints line up. Um, there's an architect in Charlottesville, Virginia, W.G. Clark, who's, who builds out a concrete block. And he, he when he designs, and he worked for Kahn, uh, when he designs, he doesn't even ever cut a block. Every block has to be coursed out perfectly. There's a kind of intellectual rigor to that that is a, a part of the discipline of being an architect. He's, yeah, the belt course runs right around. And it's, there's subtle variations, but it's the subtleties that really make the building. Then, you, then the problem with architecture is you have to put lights in, you've got monitors and you know, speakers and all the other implements of modern construction, and that gets in the way, um, unfortunately. So it's very hard to make a pure statement. This one comes pretty close. Um, I, there's arguments whether the balcony was really the best thing. They needed it in the order they needed it to. But, um, in the sense that it still is. The real view is this way. And you know, this kind of profile. I mean, there's total, it's almost illogical to make a structural, a structural condition like this. Draining to the middle of the sides is heavy. Instead of a space that vaults and makes it light and, and you know, like a, tris, a traditional church, in a sense it's oppressive. But then he releases you at the corners to make the space beyond. So in a sense, the whole, the whole building expands outside of itself. And you get this, this again, this architectural concept of surface thing line, surface that's solid and it's revealed. Even the reveal shelf around how the door frame, the, the casement for the door frame to get you know, another thin negative. Um, so that's that's why I like this place. I mean, there's a palette, there's, a, there's an idea, and there's a, a really you know, masterful control of as much as he can control you know, architecture. And it's done through geometry. But then there's these moments of invention. I mean, that capital condition and that beam condition is totally, where did where that come from? It's the one we've been seeing before. It's the act, it's, it's the act of the creative moment. It's somewhat of a difficult way to do it in some way. Supporting a slab at its edge and in the middle makes a lot of sense. Um, and you'd have to think through the whole structural problem of, of supporting this thing to see how that solution's arrived at. But it does allow him to mark the cross axis of the space. So you, because one of the dominant things about a square is its cross axis. It becomes a four square problem, ultimately it becomes a nine square problem, but or some version of it. At least at the first the first thing you can do with a square very easily, one of the things you can perceive about a square is you know you can pretty well perceive one side being equal to another side and therefore knowing that intellectually it becomes a square or you can perceive it very quickly. So it's such a useful form.
Anyway, that's what I know. <laughs> we should walk around. Uh, let's see, what do you say? Go out and turn the mic. We forgot the tour. Oh, he does the one on the bell wall. Yeah, so the fireplaces were added when this is, of course, the newer part of the building. 